Okay, class, can everyone see the board? You, at the back, you're squinting. Why don't you come closer? Teacher, what does squinting mean? Great question. Squinting is when you close your eyes halfway because you're having trouble seeing. For example, if the sun is bright and you're not wearing sunglasses, you may have to squint. Oh, I was squinting because I couldn't see from the back of the room. Exactly. Can you teach us some more verbs about sight? Sure, let's watch some examples. Whoa, did you see that? That was a Bigfoot. I only saw it for a second. From the woman's reaction, it's obvious that she also glimpsed the Bigfoot. Mmm, so glimpse means to see something for a very short time? Exactly. Glimpse means you see something for only one or two seconds. Another common way to say it is catch a glimpse of something. So the woman caught a glimpse of the Bigfoot. Okay, so here the man wants to see his favorite movie star, but unfortunately he only caught a glimpse of her. You've got it. Maybe he should have gotten there earlier. I think this guy must be bored. He keeps glancing at his watch. Okay, every time he looks, it's only for a short time. A second or two. Is that what glance means? That's right. So, what's the difference between glance and glimpse? Good question. Glimpse means to see something for only a second. But glance means to look for a second. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Here, the woman keeps glancing at the man in the blue shirt. I bet she thinks he's cute. Now this is annoying. One man is trying to read his newspaper, but the other man is staring at him. He hasn't looked away for a while. Is that what stare means? You've got it. Stare means look directly at something or someone without looking away. It is rude to stare at people like this. What are some other things you might stare at? Well, sometimes you're lost in your own thoughts and looking at nothing. In that situation, we say you're staring into space. Luca here has been staring at his exam for a long time. I don't think he studied. What a beautiful view! It really is. Here are Bob and Jim, gazing at the gorgeous scenery. Can you explain the verb gaze? Gaze means to take a long look at something we find beautiful especially if it gives us a feeling of wonder or admiration. You might gaze at nature like Bob and Jim, or you could gaze at your loved one. Oh, so this man is gazing at his baby? He is. Uh-oh, the soldier will be in trouble if the zombies see him. Yes, he will. That's why he is peeking over the car. What does peek mean? Peek means you are looking at something in secret. You don't want anyone to know you are looking. That makes sense. The soldier doesn't want the zombies to know he is there. Correct. And here we can see the two little girls peeking at Santa. I hope he doesn't catch them peeking. Well, this little boy looks amazed at the elephant. He sure does. Look at him gaping at the enormous animal. I can see that his mouth is wide open. Is that what gape means? Yes. If you see something amazing, terrifying, or astonishing, and your mouth hangs open, you're gaping at it. I get it. So people might gape at a car crash. Definitely. That painting is gorgeous. What is the man doing? He has to make sure the art is an original, so he is scrutinizing every small detail of the painting. Okay, so is that what scrutinize means? To look closely at the details? Yes, closely, carefully, and critically. For example, I might scrutinize a contract to make sure I agree with all of the terms. 
So, if I'm buying a car, would I scrutinize it for damage? Exactly. Oh, wow. This guy looks angry. Yes, he does. So do the two people in front of him. They are all glaring at the woman at the front of the line. Yes, she has been taking a very long time. That's why they are annoyed. Wait, you said they are glaring at the woman? Does glare mean to give someone an angry look? Yes, that's what it means. For another example, this little boy has hit his brother with a snowball, and his brother is definitely glaring at him. Yes, he is. He looks quite angry. Wow, I didn't realize there are so many verbs about sight. Whenever you learn new vocabulary, make sure you try to use it in real life. It's the best way to keep improving. I will. I will also remember to bring my glasses from now on. No more squinting for me. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.